bloody hell, there's 10,000 of us in this community that we've built here on YouTube, which is absolutely mad. I just want to say a big, big thank you from the bottom of my heart for following me so far. Um, more to come on work, productivity, career, consulting, and the ups and downs of casual funness, Auntie K over here. Um, and I don't want this just to be about me. I want to build a young professionals community online and offline. So I've been holding a couple of meetup events in London and Dubai. More to come in London, some in Bombay. Yes, yes, that's where I'm going to be a little bit later um, next year. So I, I really want to create a community where we support each other, where we get to know each other, where we just banter with each other. But you're not here for the banter with me. People tell me that they actually laugh at me rather than with me, but oh well. So I asked a few of you to send across a few of the questions to get to know me. Um, we're going to cover career, motivation, dating, a rapid fire. Um, and let's just get started. Also, ignore the hair. It's 7 a.m. Couldn't be bothered to have a shower. Yes, I know, gross. And my mom put some oil in my hair. So let's just get started and ignore the grossness. I think we should start with a rapid fire just to kind of get in the zone. You know, it's a little bit early and I'm not sure what some of these questions that you've sent in are. I haven't seen them. So the first one that we've got is last 24 hours on earth. What are you doing? What does a perfect day off look like? Hmm, can I say? All right, let's keep it PG-13. I probably shouldn't say that. Um, I probably would be on a mountain somewhere looking at a sunrise, reading a book. Favorite flavor, ice cream, mango, and coconut. You need to try this up, it's banging. Favorite Bollywood song. Okay, this is really old Bollywood song called Gabi, Gabi, Mere Dil Me. That is, that, is, that is my song, if you know it. Favorite hobby, reading. Reading 100%. Um, and watching landscapes on like, hiking through landscapes. Reading and hiking through landscapes or seeing a sunrise, I just, you know, just it's just. Favorite destination, I'm gonna have to say India because I go there every year. Um, favorite perfume, I don't wear perfume. I'm really telling you all the grossness. I'm just not a perfume person. I mean, I don't smell that bad, I don't think. Coffee or tea? Tea, tea 100% with some like ginger or cardamom in it. Um, dogs or cats? Um, definitely, definitely dogs. I really want a husky. I love like wolfy types. Okay, so let's get straight to the proper questions now, now that I'm warmed up. Thanks Sheen for sending it in this one. You need to check out her YouTube. She's absolutely amazing. What was my dream job as a kid? Well, I wanted to be like Lara Croft, like Indiana Jones, you know, like Tomb Raider, where you're like, you know, dodging all the little like arrows coming at you. You're solving all the puzzles, um, but okay. The other like thing I wanted to do was be an astronaut and actually apply to go to Mars um, and be like the first person to go there, which I didn't get through. I'm, they obviously think I'm psycho. Do I live with family? Yes, I do live with my family. I live with my mom, my brother, and my dad, and they get on my nerves majority of the time. But here I still am. Actually, um, I love love my fam. Mum cooks for me. Mum does my washing. I'm so spoiled, basically, I'm so spoiled. But um, at the same time, I'm able to save a little bit of money not doing that very well, to be honest, recently. Do I cook? I think the faith tells it all. What languages do I speak? I speak English, Marathi, a little bit of Gujarati, and Hindi. My, my Hindi is a china hi hai. I'll tell you something about my Indian origin. How did I move to London? I actually was not born in India, but I go to India every year. I go to Bombay, Indore, Pune, every year. A majority of the time, but I was born in the UK. My family are very connected to India, um, so they've instilled the same culture in me. And I actually think, controversial opinion, I actually think that sometimes the Indians in the UK are much more like traditional than the Indians in India because the Indians in India would become more Western, whereas the Indians in the UK would become more Eastern, closer to their roots. Paradox. The next question is pretty deep, I'm not gonna lie. Who am I? It's a bit deep for 7 a.m. So I'm gonna park it and move on. Thanks. Let's get to some of the questions through motivation and my life outside of work. Now, a lot of you actually do ask me, how do I manage my YouTube and a nine to five together? Bloody difficult. Oh, I've been dying. I, not I'm not sure if you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen that I've lacked a lot of motivation recently. You can also tell on my YouTube schedules that I'm not posting every week and they're really random days a week, which I'm trying to slowly get back into. Um, but it's really difficult because 
you want to also have a life with your friends, a life with your family, you want to also upskill and grow yourself, and I want to do YouTube. So I've found that I need to sacrifice something. You can't do everything um, in the day, you only have a certain amount of hours a day. You need to find what you need to sacrifice. It's been really difficult to sacrifice seeing my friends recently, but I know deep down, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. And I think that's the one I'm going to have to sacrifice. Um, I also am a big believer of making sure that you work on your goals before you work on your nine to five job. Uh, no one should hear me say that. But basically, I like to wake up early. I like to maybe at least do half an hour on a script or half an hour filming. I'm doing this for my work, for instance. Um, and then I like to do my nine to five. Um, I always think that you should have a side hustle or some sort of side project going on which you just like doing if you don't get paid for it but something which helps to grow your skills potentially or which something which um, you get paid for right or something which you just like to do so make sure that you find what that is and it's okay not to know now but find what that is and make a few small steps to it um, you don't have to do it bang on 100% going for it you know even if you're working 5% of your energy towards it completely fine that's what I'm trying to do recently because I've lost motivation I'm not writing scripts every day which like I used to I'm writing scripts once a week uh, just because right now I just lost my motivation so um, if you feeling like how I'm do I am you know slow to get back into it doing a little is better than doing nothing at all what is my workout routine and how do I keep up fitness have you seen the size of me <laughs> there is no workout routine there is no fitness yes I'm pretty sure I've turned off like a 90% of you, but basically I just go for walks these days. I go for walks, I'm watching how much I'm eating because it's really difficult to do all of this and go to the gym. And the gym is actually something which I sacrificed as well because one, I just can't be bothered. Two, it's effort. Three, um, I think calories intakes, which you know some people say isn't healthy, um, I think it actually does work. And the way that I eat like five, I mean like if you take me to Nando's, I'm eating 15 chicken wings fries and garlic bread so if I eat five chicken wings it's still healthy enough so um, calorie intake is my way of doing things just realized I've not been sitting in the center so I'm just gonna slowly move myself into the center all right let's move to dating there's tons of questions which have come in so what am I looking for in a man what a dream partner look like I'm telling you there I have no type and this is something which people actually tell me actually people tell me I go for ugly guys that's my type apparently but basically I don't believe in these dating apps, I don't believe in Hinge and all this stuff. I just find it really difficult to like someone based on how they look. So for me, it's all about personality and getting to know someone through the personality and the more I get to know someone, probably the more I like them and I think that's usually the case. But it's really simple. I just want someone who's ambitious, you know, kind, family man, clever, intelligent, I just wants, wants to be the best to be honest. It's, it's, it's actually very difficult to find in London. It's much more difficult than you think it is, trust me, I have tried. The second question to do with dating is, am I single and ready to mingle? And the question is, I'm definitely single, I'm not really sure I'm ready to mingle, that's the problem. Um, I don't really think I have time for it. And it's just more like I just can't be bothered. Dating is so long. It's so long. I just can't be bothered with it, to be honest. Um, why am I still single? Oh, I hope it's not a problem to do with me. But it says more about me, doesn't it? How to balance dating life and consulting? Well, the trick is just date someone who's also a consultant, who's also a banker, because then they won't complain about your working hours because they get it. That's the trick. And what do I have to do to date you? All right, so let's move on to motivation. And we've got another deep question for 7, 11 a.m. right now. What motivates me? What motivates me? Oh, okay, I have a couple of thoughts on this. I feel like, okay, motivation should just be there, right? If you um, love doing something. So you don't need to be motivated. You're gonna be motivated to do things which you probably don't enjoy or don't wanna do every single day. Like, you know, I love my job, but I don't wanna to go to my job every single day, right? So a lot of the time, motivation's a myth. It's all to do with discipline. To me, discipline um, builds habits, habits, build consistency. Consistency is the foundation for success. I promise you that. Um, and what I like to do, what keeps me motivated sometimes is a few things, right? It's especially um, one being getting someone to keep me accountable. 
I asked my brother to throw water on me if I don't film on you film YouTube video once a week now, um, which uh, he's uh, thrown many at me. Um, and also, I also like to just remind myself why am I doing something, and I like to look back and think about okay, if I wasn't doing this, um, what's the negative? Well, you know, if I do nothing, um, what's going to happen? Right, versus what if I keep doing this, what am I going to achieve? And sometimes putting in that hard work actually is worth it um, and will lead you to achieve that success. So you can kind of picture what your life is going to look like. Um, that keeps me motivated to do a lot of the different things. My purpose differs depending on every single thing I'm doing. I'm going to stop um, answering this now because um, I don't want to bore you too much, but definitely going to do a video on motivation, what keeps us motivated, and um, yeah, hopefully share some more tips on that. Next one is, how do I maintain such drive and positive energy? Now, I think 90% of the time, somehow, I, do, I just have this energy and this drive, and I don't know what it is, because I was speaking to my friend about it, because I don't think my brother has it, and we've both been brought up in the same environment, but I don't think my brother has the same drive, sorry, Viral, um, or the same positive energy as much. Um, for me, it's, I have this mentality where, no matter how shit the day goes, I just put, whatever happened to when I sleep at the end of the day. The next day is a new day. Um, but there are definitely days where I'm just like zero. I'm either like zero or 100. I either, either have this, you know, energy or I just like have literally zero, don't move from my sofa, watch Korean shows, don't speak to anyone. So I need days like that to recharge me, to get this positive energy. Um, and I just see the positive in everything you know stop seeing the negatives in things always see the glass half full then half empty because i actually think it just you know helps you to be a little bit more happier when you view things more positively sounds really obvious i know but just take a risk-free attitude just you know jilo is something that we say in the um you know in hindi we say you know just live you know, just live your life essentially. So, you know, take the risks, you know, see the positives and um, don't believe um, in what everyone thinks about you. You know, don't care what people think about you. I think that is also which stops my energy and my positive mindset from being dented is because I don't really care what people think about me. I just do what I want to do. What does success mean to me? Ah, oh, difficult question. Again, success means something different to every single person. Um, and I think for me, I've, I've thought about this and I haven't really landed on something, but for me, you know, of course, part of success would look like, you know, having millions and millions of pounds, you know, traveling the world, not having to worry um, but I think when I thought actually think about it it's about having the enough time to do the things that I want to do enough time to travel the world enough time to read enough time to do YouTube um, and not be um, pulled down or shackled by a job which consumes majority of my day to be honest I'm gonna be really honest right so um, that is what probably success looks like as well as being happy of course all right so now let's talk about career what is my long-term goal? Well, just get minted. No, I'd love to have my own company or be a CEO of a company. You get that meme which goes, what is your favorite position? CEO, <laughs> uh, would love to, but um, yeah, I think that would be great or have my own business. Uh, I haven't really decided yet. You know, there's a couple of different like options in my head. I feel like it's coming to the time where I should exit consulting. Um, but I really don't want to because I really enjoy it. Or I could go to another consulting firm, I could go into startup, I could do my own business, um, and or I could just go into industry and try to make it to become CEO, right? So currently, um, doing it really mathematically and understanding what's the probability of where I'll be most successful, the scientists in me, the scientists in me. If I wouldn't do consulting, what would I do instead? I'd be traveling the world for sure, but um, as I said, those are the different options that I just previously spoke about in terms of what I'd kind of am thinking career-wise to do I just haven't really landed on what to do um, I might continue to do a bit of product management in another firm I might do um, consulting for another firm I might do strategy for another firm um, so I haven't really decided yet and it's really difficult because I feel like the next decision I make is kind of is like cement this is what my career is going to be in but I know that's just a wrong me mentality to have because you can always switch your um, the type of work you're being known for but it's always good to have like a t-shape so you do loads of different things but you're specialized in one certain thing and basically i just don't know what i want to specialize in this is a rare rambly way to say i have no clue next question is what is the situation if given a chance i would have handled differently 
um, one situation comes to mind and that's when I was two years into consulting. I had first time I had an analyst underneath me. I got asked to feed into her performance review. First time I've ever been asked to feed into someone's performance review um, and to give some feedback. Um, I, there, I definitely said things which she did great at, but also said a lot of things which um, she could improve on, just because I'm very honest as a person, right? I, th I think I am. Issue was, I didn't really have a conversation with her first on um, what she could be doing better. So she actually came up to me and said, listen, it's actually really rude that you decided to not um, tell me first before you decided to feed into my performance review. And I felt like such a bad, bad, bad human being then. Um, and one of the biggest mistakes I made, um, one of the biggest lessons I learned in terms of, um, you know, managing a team, I felt really shit about it. And it was really brave of her to say it to me as well. So we need more people like that in consulting. You know, if you see people making mistakes, voice it out. <laughs> Cause it all helps us to improve. All right, so final topic to do with travel. What is my favorite holiday? I am going to say my favorite holiday is to, out of two countries. One, Iceland. Oh God, it's so beautiful. The landscapes, the waterfalls, the northern lights, and then two, Costa Rica. I can't tell you how much of an experience Costa Rica is. I went in with no expectations, came out being completely blown away in terms of how sustainable they are, the nature there, the wildlife there, you know, just the warmth of the individuals and, um, you know, with so little that they have, they make the most of it, they're so happy. Whereas a lot of us in the Western community, we always just want more, we're a little bit greedy, to be honest. A favorite thing from my trip to Costa Rica. Oh God, there was one time where we saw um, turtles come from the beach, lay eggs, and so they basically digged holes and they laid the eggs and they put sand over the holes again in the sand. They went back and then in the morning I saw some of those turtles hatch. Absolutely mad. It was insane. And also the hot chocolate there, the cocoa, fresh chocolate. Oh, it was great. Costa Rica's a vibe. I also went white water rafting and that was so good. I actually fell into the rapids. Um, it was an experience by white water rafting on what was one of the most dangerous um, rivers in Costa Rica um, for my first time. It was so much fun. I can't tell you how much fun Costa Rica actually was and I'll go there again in a heartbeat. Um, also, lots of volcano trekking. Oh God, I just love Costa Rica. Can you tell? <laughs> I can't really choose one favorite thing. Um, and then let's leave this uh, Q&A off with one final question. If I woke up to one million pounds in my bank and it's mine to keep, what would I be doing first? So I'll give some of it to charity, of course, but I think I'll be investing majority of it to make more money. And then I'll be traveling with a little bit. I'll probably go to China, as I mentioned, probably do India and probably do um, Japan as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you all so much for 10K. I should be going back to work now. And as always, I will see you next week. Bye.